Accounting Information Systems, Week 6. Chapter 15. The Learning Objectives Include Understand the forces that exist in the contemporary production environment and the trends that have emerged. Understand the role of enterprise systems in the integration of the total manufacturing environment. Understand the key inputs, outputs, data, processes, terminology included in modern integrated production processes. Understand the relationship between IPPs and other key business processes within a manufacturing organization, including HR management, purchasing, order entry and sales, and inventory management. Finally, understand the role of inventory management systems and their relationship to IPPs. Remember that supply chain management is a combination of processes and procedure used to ensure the delivery of goods and services to customers at the lowest cost and highest value. Manufacturers must forecast demand, determine lead times, monitor inventory levels for numerous raw materials, and plan for the manufacture of finished goods. E-business plays an increasingly important role in this process. Supply chain management software is available to promise planning. It accumulates data on current inventories, sales commitments, and planned production to determine if production of finished goods will be sufficient to commit to additional sales orders. It is also capable to promise planning, which accumulates data on inventories, sales commitments, planned production, and excess production capacity or other production capacity that could be converted to the production of the desired finished goods necessary to fulfill a sales order request. In the management accounting systems arena, we have activity-based costing, which is prevalent in companies seeking to increase cost accuracy and usefulness of cost data. Detailed costs to perform activities throughout the value chain are computed and assigned to cost objects, including products. It recognizes that cost drivers, other than production volume or direct labor, explain many activity costs. Product managers can effectively manage life cycle costs, sum of costs to design, produce, market, deliver, and support a product from conception to discontinuance, and precisely predict product profitability. Computer-aided design software is also available to management. The main objectives of such software is to improve design productivity, to reduce design lead time and enhance design quality, to facilitate access to and storage of product designs, make the design of multiple products more efficient by eliminating redundant design effort, it also executes design changes almost immediately through the use of electronic messaging to notify the shop floor. Management must determine the needs for materials in a production environment. After the master production schedule is determined, an important step in completing production in a timely manner is identifying, ordering, and receiving materials. Material requirements planning is a process that uses bombs, raw material and work in process inventory status data, open order data, and the MPS to calculate a time phased order requirements schedule. The time phased order requirements schedule shows the time period when a manufacturing order or purchase order should be released so that the subassemblies and raw materials will be available when needed. Manufacturing Automation Flexible manufacturing systems are automated operations systems that control the production of goods. Computer-aided manufacturing is the application of computer and communications technology to improve productivity by linking computer numerical control machines, monitoring production, and providing feedback to control operations. Automated storages and retrieval systems are computer-controlled machines that store and retrieve parts and tools. Just-in-time manufacturing 
or JIT, is a pull manufacturing philosophy or business strategy for production processes that are more responsive to precisely timed customer delivery requirements. The objectives of JIT are zero defects and greatly diminished setup times and lead times, small lot sizes, and total quality control, an approach that places responsibility for quality in the hands of the builder. In order to implement JIT, a company must arrange U-shaped work cells to optimize material flow, must assign workers to multiple machines and give them authority to stop the production line if needed, require that the daily schedule remain nearly the same each day, and develop close working relationships with vendors. Again, beware of fraud in this area. Inventory is a primary area for management fraud. Inventory manipulation, frequency and materiality of financial statement misstatement is massive. It has grown fourfold in five years and is one of the biggest single reasons for the proliferation of accounting scandals and lawsuits. Inventory fraud can take many forms including items in physical counts that are not what they are claimed to be, or including non-existent inventory, counting obsolete inventory as saleable or usable, double counting inventory or arranging for false confirmations of merchandise purportedly held by others, and including items for which a payable has not been recorded. Consider these inventory process controls. Effectiveness of operations goals address optimization. Maintain sufficient inventory to prevent stockouts. Maintain sufficient inventory to minimize operational inefficiencies. Minimize cost of carrying inventory. Sample controls include uh, perpetual inventory records and radio frequency identification tags to track inventory movement just-in-time materials acquisition, and internal transfer procedures. Efficient employment of resources controls include JIT materials acquisition, including vendor-managed inventory, warehouse bin location planning, which optimizes space usage and efficiency.